Have you ever been heartbroken before? Well, clearly I have. Heartbreak is usually something that's morbid for me. It's definitely the most um, common thing that a human ever feels. I'm not just talking about relationship, romantic heartbreak, but I'm talking about loss. I'm talking about pain that you feel when you lose something or someone very important to you. Heartbreak truly is painful in many ways. Of course, I've had my fair share of moments of heartbreak. And I hated them. I hated the feeling. But at the same time, it helped me grow. It motivated me into something better. Heartbreak is essentially the feeling you get that where it feels like a chain is pulling down on your heart and that feeling that feeling where it feels like your heart is about to fall out of your chest that is heartbreak you get that when you lose something or someone closest to you i've been heartbroken before the first heartbreak i've ever had was with my pet, Snaily. Now, sounds humorous enough, but yes, he was indeed a snail. I love the snail, but then, again, I was around three, or two actually, and I watched the snail get crushed un under the feet of my grandfather who was gardening. He said it was a pest, and he mu it must die. Now, I loved it because it was an animal, it was alive. Then it came to me doing some messed up things during my childhood. Some legit psychopathic tendencies due to the trauma I've endured of losing pets. For example, I would hurt insects out of pain and anger retaliation for the snail I lost. Am I definitely a psychopath? I don't know. But I don't do those things anymore. I actually care for insects, weirdly enough. And when I accidentally step on an insect, I usually pray. Do you know why? Because it was alive. And it was trying to survive in the world. And it's gone now. And it was living in my home. Now, where am I going to? Well, I'm trying to say that essentially we don't have to lose sight of experiences. Those bugs that I killed, <laughs> as morbid as that sounds, were experiences. And experiences, well, they experience life when you think about it. And you, a human being, lives much longer than a bug. And the moments, the same moments, where you experience the opposite of that, of loss, life, happiness, love, Those are good moments. The little things, you should remember those. You should never hate those emotions, those beautiful moments with that person you've lost. Because that person meant a lot to you. Now, psychopathy aside, I know I probably traumatized all, uh, some of you because of that. I am sorry, <laughs> but in the end, what really matters is the person you're with now. If you're not, not with anyone, go find someone, but don't be creepy about it, <laughs> I guess.
they'll be one of those creepos to just jump to a person and then say, Hi, I love you so much. Will you be with me? And then ever and then, you know, she runs away or he runs away, calls the police on you and you, you go to jail. That essentially is something you shouldn't do. Rather you should build connections with people. Build connections. Try to rebuild um something you've lost but that's not the best case but it's the first step of healing of course or maybe you go find someone new you go find you go just go to a bar or you go to a restaurant wait for someone to talk to you have a shower but essentially what matters is those little things the little things the moments where she rests on your head, the moments where grandma used to tell you stories, even though you weren't listening. The moments where grandpa would tell you about his favorite book, or dad telling you about his comic books, or your mom telling you about her life to teach you something. Even the moments they scold you, because they love you, my friend. Or your siblings, the siblings, the moment, the few moments where they show humanity toward you, the few moments they actually loved you. Remember those. They are very essential to your spirit. I am. I have lost people. Whether they have left me. Or they left me in the physical world. I have lost pets. No, not just bugs. Actual pets. Like pets I've actually learned to adore. I'm not the best pet owner. So I just don't want to have pets. I'm... I have two pets right now, but... I don't trust myself. I take care of them at times. But it's my mom who takes care of more most of the time. I think losing them really messed me up. I think losing a lot of people really messed me up. But whenever I enter the darkness, whenever I think of those bad things, bad thoughts, I remember the good moments. I remember the time, the times where they loved me, even though it was just a short moment. For unrequited love, um, I'm damn sure they loved you at some point. Maybe not in a certain way as you wanted, but they loved you. They were important to you. And that level of importance made them, that level of importance you gave them, made them love you. Maybe not in the way as you intended for them to love you, but they loved you. They were, you were special to them. Remember that, as you are special to me, my friend. You have been watching, you have watched this video, and you were trying to understand who I am, my videos, what I am. I'm just broken. But that motivates me to piece myself together again. I hope you piece yourself together again, my friend.